Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be only eating new in foods um, for the whole day. So I've gone to, I think there's three shops maybe? Yeah, three, sh three shops um, where I've gone and got some lovely new in foods. So before we do get going, I'd just like to say that while I'm filming today, there's a massive storm going on. So if you hear any windy background noise or rain, that's what that is. Um, also, if you are not already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it because I'm absolutely starving. Let's go straight in with some breakfast. So for breakfast today, I'm so excited. I think these literally came out within the last week. So as soon as I saw them, I was like, I need them. But I wanted to try them with you guys. So a fresh new box of hazelnut cocoa pops. There's not really much I need to say about this. They're obviously surely going to be amazing. Um, I got them from Asda. I think only Asda and I think Iceland do them at the moment. I haven't seen them anywhere else. I can't remember how much they are. I think £2.50. But I'm not sure. I'll put the price up on the screen. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to blab too much because I'm really hungry. And I really want to try these. So let's crack on. probably noticed that I'm sitting down with this today. I'm not risking dropping all of these all over the floor. They smell quite good. Let's do a dry taste test first. Oh my god. They taste, honestly, they taste good dry, so they, they're gonna taste good. Get some milk on. I'm not actually having loads because I've got quite a few other bits to fit in. Let's just go straight in with it. That is good. I don't know how to describe it, apart from saying that they're really nice. My hazelnut here. I love to have done well with that. Much nicer. I know it's two different flavours, but much nicer than the um, the strawberry and white chocolate one that they have. When I was doing the, the challenge for that one, I thought it was the milk. The milk, that strawberry milk wasn't nice anyway, but the strawberry cocoa pops, they aren't nice. I've had them on their own with normal milk. They're not nice. These are good. I know I've eaten these quite quick, but hopefully the milk... It's turned chocolatey. Hopefully it tastes hazelnutty as well. Let's try that. Mm -mm. That was lush. There's not really much I can say about that apart from go grab yourself some. Cereal is always like a, a bit of a hard thing to try for your new one. It's like, I can't think of the word, but if you don't like it, you're stuck with a big box. You just chuck it away. They are good. Go grab yourself some. I will see you next for some lunch because like I said, it's pretty late. It's probably, it's actually nearly lunchtime anyway, um, which is why I only had a small bowl. So I'll see you at lunchtime. I don't know if you heard that. Anyway, sorry. It's time for lunch. So I've just got back in, which is why I probably look a little bit windswept. Um, for lunch today, I've managed to pick myself up some sushi. Um, this is new in sushi. And this is from Lidl. Um, and it was £1.69. I don't usually get sushi, so I can't really say if that's expensive or not. Probably not. Um, to go with that, found myself a bag of crisps. Um, rice and corn snacks, they're called, which basically I'm guessing just Snacker Jacks, but the Lidl version. Um, they are sweet chilli flavour. Um, you see. Um, and they were from... Did I say they're from Lidl? They're from Lidl. They were 99p for them. So, let's have a look at this sushi. So, it says there's two low-fat soft cheese and smoked salmon California rolls with a black sesame seed coating. Two surimi? Surimi? Don't know ginger, chilli and carrot California rolls with a white and black sesame seed coating and one smoked salmon nigiri. Nigiri. 
I want to make salmon one. Don't know how to say that last one. Let's have a look. There's some wasabi paste in there. And that's gonna be staying there. No thank you. Now I've never tried the sauce that they put in there. You're very close. Hang on. So am I gonna be brave and try one? Right, I'm gonna go for the smallest one first. Go for this one first, which I think is, I don't know what flavor that is. Just try it. I'm gonna try the sauce. Was it soy sauce? You put loads in there. I don't know, I have. Mm. No sauce. Let's try these sweet chilling. I really struggled trying to find my lunch. They are good. Also, I want to let you know about the um, the cereal I had earlier, the hazelnut cocoa pops. I don't know how I feel about them. The taste that they left in your mouth wasn't very nice. Actually, my boyfriend, he didn't like them um, and he said they tasted burnt. And when I had that taste left in my mouth, it actually does taste a bit burnt. So I'm not sure how I feel about them as well. Um, I actually had to, water wouldn't get rid of the taste, I actually had to get some chewing gum, which wasn't great. Anyway, they were nice though, it's just a weird taste. I'm gonna go with this one next, which is surimi, ginger, chili, and carrot with sesame seed on the outside. I don't know about that one. I wonder if that would make it taste any better. That, the soy sauce makes it taste better. I'm assuming it's the ginger in it. I don't know, but it reminds me of a smell of a spa. Like when you go get a massage, it smells really nice in there, but that's what that tastes like. I'll still eat the other one. It's not horrible enough not to eat again, but I wouldn't choose it. I wouldn't go buy it again, you know? I'll try this one, which is, looks yummy. This one is the soft, low fat, soft cheese, smoked salmon with black sesame seeds coating. Mm -mm. That's a good one. I don't know why I never used to use that. I am a bit of a wimp when it comes to trying different foods, so that's probably why. I just thought I wouldn't like it, so I never tried it. I thought, whilst I'm filming it with you, why not try it? And I like it. I also managed to get my hands on a, um, a drink. Whilst I was in Iceland, I saw this, which is an energy drink. It's Tyson Fury's energy drink. Black and blue raspberry flavor. I don't really need an energy drink today, but I'll give it a try. Ooh, that sounds really nice. That is tasty. It's only 88 calories for that. Mm. Sorry, this isn't about calories, but it shocks me because I always think energy drinks are gonna have loads of sugar in it, so loads of calories, but it tastes good. Right. I'm gonna go for this one next, which is literally just the um, smoked salmon hosamaki. Smoked salmon hosamaki, don't know. It is just a bit plain, so I'm going to put some of the, my new favourite soy sauce on it. The crisp and nice there is no different to the light snacker jacks. I suppose they're probably just cheaper. Anyway, I'm going to finish this off. I've only got a couple more bits left, but you don't really want to watch me eat my whole lunch. I will see you. I've got an afternoon sweet snack, so I'll see you for that. So we're back with a snack before dinner. I've got myself. Also, just quickly, do you guys mind if I'm literally in the same spot for the video? Because I don't really have anywhere else that I can sit 
well, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, I don't really have anywhere else I can kind of sit comfortably with you guys, so I don't think you're gonna fall. And yeah, I just feel like, it, it, is it boring? Can you let me know? Earlier, when I had my lunch, I nipped back together. I was gonna sit in the car um, and eat, but um, it's very windy out there, and I thought you'd probably be able to hear all the wind, so I thought, no, let's just go home and eat. I'm sure you'll mind, but let me know if you do. I hope you don't. Anyway, stop blabbing. For our little snack, we have got a Jaffa cake dessert. I thought it said cheesecake. It's not a cheesecake. Look at that. Look at the side of it. Yummy. I love chocolate orange. Yummy. So this was from Asda. Um, and it was hmm, cheaper than I thought. It was £1.85. I swear it said £2 something, but my receipt says £1.85. Yummy. Look at that. Doesn't look like much chocolate is on there though, but we move. So orange mousse with a sponge cake soaked in orange sauce and covered with a dark and milk chocolate ganache. I don't know about that, you know. I don't like the texture of the mousse. Look at the amount of mousse compared to the sponge. I'm oh, sorry, it's come out of focus. Look at that, and then look at the amount of chocolate. You can hardly even see it. I don't like that. And they've hardly put any chocolate. Let me scoop the chocolate from the outside. The chocolate's nice, but there just isn't enough of it. There's me saying to you, I don't like it and I'm still eating it. Mm. But I've had quite a lot as well, to be fair. Um, I'm going to try and hold it at an angle. The ratio of... A bit closer. You see that? Yeah, the amount, look at the amount of the mousse compared to everything else. The chocolate... No, sorry. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. She says as she scoops another bit in her mouth. I'll be giving that to someone else. That is from Asda's um, extra special range as well. I wouldn't say that's extra special. It was my fault for not reading it properly. Like I did think it was a cheesecake and I saw the sign say it was new and the fact that it was Jaffa cake. I was like, yes, get in my basket. I love Jaffa cake, but should have read it properly, shouldn't I? So yeah, I would probably rate that a four out of 10. I wouldn't bother getting that again. Don't bother guys, don't run and get it. It's not a new one that we want. Okay, anyway, I've had a disappointing episode. I'm hoping that dinner's gonna be way better. I'm thinking it will. I'm actually really excited for dinner. Um, so I'm gonna crack on and start cooking that. Um, I'll show you in a minute actually what I've got before I put it all in. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in a bit. Just about to make some dinner to put it all on. For dinner this evening, we have got a Chiquito's pulled pork burrito bowl. Um, this is from Iceland and was four pound. Um, so it's a tortilla filled with a vegetable and basmati rice mix, marinated shredded pork topped with creamy cheese sauce, salsa, cheese, jalapenos. Oh, wasn't it great because it's from Iceland and it's frozen. Um, Anyway, looks better like that. To go with these. Oh my God, I'm very excited. I don't really have things like this, but I walked into the shop and I saw these straight away and I was like, yes. What? Sorry. Pickled onion flavored potato shapes. How have you got pickled onion, Space Raider, in a potato? I love Space Raiders. Love them. They do beef flavour in there as well. I like, I do like the beef space raiders, but pickled onion. I saw it and I had to try it. Like I just got to test it out. So yeah, I'm going to chuck these in. Um, I'll show you what they look like when they're ready and whether they taste good. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? And here are the little space raiders. So let me put you down and we can go and try some. Firstly, ignore this. This is my egg chair. Because of the weather, I brought him inside. So 
currently got the seat of my egg chair in my kitchen anyway let's get cracking on with this uh it says to leave it to stand for five minutes so whilst that's standing let's try a why do i keep doing that let's try one of the little space raiders so here they are i've cooked it pretty well to be fair nice and crispy let's have a look oh. oh my god I wish I put more in. I only put six in. That tastes just like a space raider in potato form. Oh my god, that is so nice. I'm lost for words. I'm gonna do a little taste test with you rather than sitting and eating the whole meal, um, because you're probably bored of me talking so much and I don't know what else to talk about. So I'm gonna let's dig in. It hasn't been five minutes, but I'm hungry. So. Let's try it. Got a bit of rice. That's hot there. Bit of rice, a bit of pork, and a bit of the cheese on there. Mm. I shouldn't have done that. That's so hot. Why did I do that? Very good. There's no point in me trying to scoff this down. Oh my god, I just ate a chilli. I'm not going to try and scoff this down because it's way too hot, but this is very nice. So I'm going to go sit down, finish eating it, and finish eating my little space raiders. I will catch up with you guys after when I have some pudding. Right, it's a few hours later, and I am ready for some pudding. So for pudding this evening, we have got Angel Delight ice cream. And what probably feels and looks like the biggest tub, like... The size of it goes in my head, like, it's massive. It's the butterscotch one. In the shop they had this one and I think it was a strawberry one. Um, so this is from Iceland and it was only three pound. So I am very excited to try that. It smells like nothing, but look how nice that looks. Right. Oh my God, that is dangerous. It's easy to scoop. It's nice, light, fluffy, and delicious. At first, I was about to say, mm, don't say anything, and then you get the kick of butterscotch. That is so nice. One, one last scoop. I haven't had much left. Just the whole of the outside of that nice looking bit. Okay, next, dairy milk buttons, twisted ones. There you go. Cute. And we have another one. I to like suck the chocolate. Hang on. Let me, what am I doing? <laughs> Let me like suck this one. See if I can get more of the flavour. They're all right. Nothing special. I'm not gonna have any more. I'm not gonna have any more, but it's mainly the look. I've already shown you, but it's mainly the look of them I think people would go for. I can't really tell if it's white chocolate and normal chocolate. I think it is. It must be if it's like that colour. Does it say anything on them? Cadbury dairy milk, milk chocolate and white chocolate buttons. Yeah, it's not. I don't think you need to mix milk and white chocolate together. It's not one thing. No, that's a that's an okay, but it's not. I wouldn't go out and buy them again, you know. So I'm gonna finish today's new in tested new in foods here. Um I've got one more thing. But I'm going to be having that tomorrow for breakfast. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. So we're ending today's video on some breakfast. Um, and for breakfast, we've got some chocolate orange Weetos. So I said yesterday that I absolutely love chocolate orange. 
so I've got high hopes for these. These are actually limited edition ones. So these are from Asda. I don't know if you can get anywhere else, but yeah, I got these from Asda and they're £2.50. Let's have a little taste test. They taste good. They don't smell very orangey though, but I'll taste it. I'll give them a try. They are good. I prefer these to yesterday's ones, the hazelnut ones, definitely. Oh my god, these are lush. Mmm. need to sit them over. You need to go and get yourself some of these. I wonder if the milk will go chocolatey at the end. No, it's not quite orangey, but I suppose I ate that quite quick. So I suppose if it was in there for longer, it might have done. Um, so yeah. 10 out of 10 for that breakfast so that's everything um we are all done for the new in video um i hope you've enjoyed it please if you have give it a massive thumbs up and like i said if you are new here or if you just aren't already please hit that subscribe button because it really does help my channel um but yeah that's all for now so i will see you in my next video